Hi everyone, I go by the name of Ish Ishmael, raised in uh, Northwest, Kulitsabong Village. <laughs> Shout out to everybody who's checking this out. Oh, well, how I got into the music industry is when I came, uh, I came to Joburg from Rustenburg, uh, where I met, uh, I met people like Prophets of the Sea, the Abu Chico, Twala, Abu Lance, you know what I mean? Uh, that's how I got into the music business, into the industry. Well, my first group uh, was Prophets of the City, uh, originally from Cape Town, and uh, uh, it was a rap group back then in the 90s and uh, late 80s. Uh, we were talking about... Um, Pretty much just like a group that was against apartheid and apartheid and then uh, yeah we were rapping about that and yeah okay, and the scheme scheme was formed in Yovo Yovo back in the day uh, we used to be DJs in Yovo and then also we used to be friends uh, from Rustenburg and who we all met in Joburg and then we kind of like formed scheme while I was in profit of the city that's how it formed. Alright, cool. When I when when I first joined uh, Prophet and Seed and Schema, I went by the name of Ishmael, right? And then, then we had to do an R&B album just to make it cooler. That's something that will sit with the R&B genre. We felt like we'll see. okay, sharp. Let's let's say from Ishmael to I Ismail. Now it's called Ismail for the R&B only. And then when I do quiet and hip hop, I go back to I go back to Ishmael. Roba Robs, uh, Roba Litsaka was done with, uh, with the Triple Nine stable of Atom Fugate produced by uh, Techno P. It was uh, one of my big tracks as well. Uh, it's actually the track that put me in the quiet domain. You know what I mean? Because then I was known as a hip hop RB guy. And then Roba Litsaka definitely put me in that quiet domain. In Josie the Motherland Boys, uh, it was a concept that uh, Lance came about and we, we talked about it. and whereby they put me in a group called Shimani ECT, which was Josie before before we joined and made it Josie, you know? And uh, that project was uh, us uh, mixing hip-hop and Mbakanga together, you know what I mean? It consisted of Lez, uh, Bongani Fasi, and Crazy. My, fu my, def my future plans definitely is like from probably like this coming week, I'm gonna lock myself in the studio, work on new music, work on stuff that's pretty much gonna carry me through the rest of the year. I have some good ideas, I have nice vibes going on, yeah, uh, but in, in the current moment, I'm still pushing is a Makhrotman, which is my new single that is out now. Sure, I've been in an industry for like more than 30 years, and what I can say to motivate the, you know, the, the upcoming artists is like, just need to for longevity, just, you know, stay faithful to your craft, you know what I mean? Love your music, because it all begins with the music, and then everything else comes, so just stay faithful to the music, respect the music, because music is what actually uh, made you, or oh, that's what you want to do, you know, and the money is everything else will come, and it's not an easy, it's an up and down thing, but if you're faithful to the music, that will be your pillar of strength.